These are frightening times for many people because of the economy. We're hearing terms like Great Depression. I spoke with a leader of the community the other day who happens to be a friend, someone who's known to all of you, and he told me about how his grandmother used to talk about what it was like during the Great Depression. He said she described it as the best of times and the worst of times. And I asked, how could she call it the best of times? Was she very wealthy? He said, no, they were very poor, but if you had a loaf of bread, you shared it with your neighbor. And that's how people got through those difficult times. I know that this town understands that because of the work that's been done in Caring Katrina where hundreds, maybe thousands of people in this town have gone as far as almost a thousand miles away to help people who were left without their homes. And I think probably everyone on the city council has either contributed to that effort or at least has had good things to say about it. And so I was very surprised when I opened my local newspaper and saw that this administration is contemplating doing a very different thing, and that is throwing people out of their homes into the cold. Two homes were built on Maple Avenue. The developer had bad timing, and he couldn't sell the homes, and so he was fortunate enough to find someone who helps house people who need housing. And together, they have been able to put together a program where recovering alcoholics and substance abusers have a place to live in Northbrook. I didn't know who these people were, so my wife and I did what we do when someone moves into our community. She baked cookies, we went over to the two homes, we rang the bell, we said hello to the people, and we gave them the cookies and a note that said, welcome to Northbrook, and we were invited inside. I won't take a lot of time to tell you what I found inside other than to say they're beautiful homes, beautifully kept, with very nice people there, who are indistinguishable from the other alcoholics who live in our town on Shermer, and on Maple, and on Techni. And I wouldn't have known that they were alcoholics or recovering alcoholics or substance abusers if I hadn't read about them that way. These are people who are very concerned about their community and how they are perceived because they have been perceived poorly in the past and they're working very hard to get along in the community. After we visited with them, we went across the street we were real fortunate there are only four houses across the street from these houses on Maple Avenue and everyone happened to be home that afternoon and everyone greeted us warmly welcomed us into their homes spent a lot of time talking to us about what their concerns were with these two homes on Maple Avenue and we talked to them about our concerns and we found that these are not bad people they are not monsters they do understand the difficulties that people have who are going through rehabilitation or who have emerged from rehabilitation and are now trying to make their way in the community. They were struggling with the dilemma that they were faced by and the dilemma basically was caused by fear. Fear mostly of the unknown. I found in a very short time, just in the afternoon, that there is a solution to the problem on Maple Avenue. I don't have time in this few minutes to tell you what it is, but if you'd like to give me more time or we'd like to talk another time, I'll be happy to tell you that. But there's a solution where both sides of Maple Avenue can get along and get what they want. My concern is, from what I read in the paper, it didn't sound as if this city was trying to find that solution. It sounded as if you were going in a different direction. You have one of the top zoning attorneys in the country here, someone who I respect very much, who I know is very capable of spending tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court, if that's what you choose to do, to get an answer to the question of do you have the right to enforce your zoning laws against these people? I think that's the wrong question and it's being asked of the wrong people. The question you should be asking is, is it right to enforce these laws against these people? And the only ones who can answer that question are you and the people of Northbrook. So far as I know, the people who live in these two homes are not asking for anything from this village, not one penny. Those of you who know the area, by the way, know that there are three lots right next to this lot. You could probably pick them up dirt cheap right now. And you could probably spend $10 million to build a community rehabilitation center right there if you wanted. But that's not what anyone's asking. All that the people on Maple Avenue are asking is that you leave them alone. They are working together. They are helping themselves. They are helping each other. 
All that I am asking is that you not get in their way. In a few years, we may have the opportunity to talk to our grandchildren. You may be asked the question, what did you do in the great difficulties that started in 2008? And you will have two answers you can give. One answer would be, I was fortunate enough to be trusted to sit on the city council, and when faced with the opportunity, I did what I could to help people through difficult times. Or you could answer that I was on the city council, and in difficult times, I did what I could to make life more difficult for people who are already having a hard time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Goodman.